I get a teriyaki spam musubi and a regular musubi. I have so much items I'm gonna get. Aloha, I'm Sean Kawipone, and in this video, we're eating exclusive Hawaii items at world renowned food chains in the Aloha state, of course. Here we are at McDonald's, and we're gonna check out some Hawaii exclusive items. Now we are here at Jollibee, which is home of the best fast food chicken sandwich on the planet. We are here at the Starbucks in Hawaii, as 7-Eleven by far has the most exclusive Hawaii items of all the major food chains. Are you ready to go on this food adventure? Trust me, the first place we visit, you'll love it because I'm loving it. Let's go. Oh, and hit the like and subscribe button if you're new here. All right, now we can go. Here we are at McDonald's and we're gonna check out some Hawaii exclusive items. <laughs> check out my shirt, dad. That's just the McDonald's logo. Okay, cool, cool. Well, do you mind if you give a shotgun to the camera? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right on, right on, right on. Right, What's nice the point, man? Yeah, nice meeting you, man. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. That's the next generation right there. Let's go inside. Oh, wait, that's the exit. Okay, so another exclusive item they have is the McCurry Burger. That's exclusive towards Hawaii, but they don't have it right now. And the Hapia Pie, which comes in the summer. I'm hungry, and we get to eat together. All right. Oh, oh, that was quick. That was the quickest service I've ever had. That took like six seconds for our meal to come out, which means they already had it made. I got music in the background, so uh, bear with us. Here we are with our Hawaii exclusive McDonald's breakfast, which includes pochi sausage, eggs, rice, spam. Spam is quite popular here in Hawaii. We adopted this as part of our meal. If you don't like spam, then we probably can't be friends because everyone in Hawaii loves spam. I don't know one person who doesn't. So here we go and dive in. I got all these eggs, a little bit of rice, and this nicely glazed slice of Spam. That was pretty good. Spam tastes like a piece of ham that's glazed with a little bit of sweetness. I love it, and it goes well with the eggs and rice. And the next item is Spam, the Portuguese sausage. I'm gonna have a bite of this right now. Mm, the Portuguese sausage is heavily spiced and it's a nice, tasty piece of meat. It's another thing that we adopted here in Hawaii. Taste is homemade, how the way I would cook it. And they do give you soy sauce. I'll pour it all over my rice so the rice is not too plain. And now we're gonna eat the exclusive deep fried apple pie only found in Hawaii. Bam! They used to sell the deep fried apple pie all across throughout America. For some reason, it never left Hawaii, and it's still here. It's one of my favorite treats, and I'm gonna show you the inside of it. Oh, cool. It's crispy, it's boily with all the bubbles on top, kind of like how my personality is. It's like a deep fried apple pie. With the outside, is hard, and on the inside, it's very sweet and mushy. I'll tell you what it tastes like. The apple is sweet, on the outside it's crusty, and it makes for a delicious treat. The two pies that are missing are the deep fried taro pie and the jalapeno pie, but I'll add that in in the next one. Maybe jump into time right now. Now we have the jalapeno pie. Ooh, for a price of $2.29, oh it's well worth it. It's thick and goozing, and it's gonna go right in my mouth. This halpia pie is so delicious. It's a thick, creamy, coconut-like taste on the inside. So much attention to detail. So good. We have McDonald's Hawaii exclusive, brand new item. 
It's only here for six weeks. It is the guava cream pie. It is baked. So I'm not really a fan of that because I like my apple pies from McDonald's deep fried here in Hawaii. Let's take a bite and see what this is all about. Really rich tasting and guava and the cream. Wow. I do think that this would be awesome if you guys made this deep fried. Why not just put the halpia and taro pie permanently on the menu? Come on guys, who else agrees with me? The McTerry Deluxe is another item that should permanently be on the menu, along with the side men. This is the McTerry Deluxe sandwich. Woo! It is a burger with a lot of teriyaki sauce. Now, does it taste good? Let's dive in. Mmm, that is the winner right there. All that sweet teriyaki sauce with the mayo, the lettuce, tomato, the burger, it is of indulgence that I am not regretting at all right now. Only in Hawaii. Now back to the other McDonald's. Now back in time. Now off to the next location. We meet the next generation. We meet the Kapunas, the older generation. Jenny. <laughs> and it's all Aloha here at McDonald's and everywhere in Hawaii. Let's go to the next place. Now we are here at Jollibee, which is home of the best fast food chicken sandwich on the planet. I can vouch and say that because I've never had a better chicken sandwich than at Jollibee. But we are not here for that. We're gonna try out some Hawaii exclusive items and see what they have. Let's go. Oh, and there's our friend right over here. Cool man, this place is lit. Look at it. Jollibee is a Filipino chain restaurant, but it's made its way to America, all around the world, and I'm happy to say it made its way to Hawaii. The food items on the menu here is not Hawaii exclusive, but it's Hawaii inspired. Because those locals love pineapple and coconut here in Hawaii. Thanks Jollibee, you guys rock. Thank you very much. Awesome, thank you. Awesome. I like all the details too. Boom, Jollibee, Jollibee, and we're gonna go enjoy this and sit down. The Aloha Yum Burger. I think it's more of a tourist item because people associate Hawaii with pineapples. So if you throw a pineapple on something, all of a sudden, it's Hawaiian. It's a Hawaiian theme. All this together with the pineapple juice, fries, and Aloha Yum Burger costs $15.99. I'm gonna see if it's worth it. I'm gonna bite in. Wow, I didn't think it was gonna be that good looking at it from the outside, but it's juicy, it's tasty. All the juices explode in my mouth. This is better than I thought. It's a good combination of everything all around. And to complete the Aloha meal, I'm gonna try it with the fries and the pineapple juice. See if it's worth the $15.99 which the meal cost. I like some good McDonald's fries. Nothing special, but pretty good. Now I'm thirsty and we're gonna try out the pineapple juice. Has the right touch of pineapple and it's quite refreshing. Now we're gonna check out apple pie that's here for a limited time. We'll see if it's worth it. and I want to see what's on the inside of this. Obviously the coconut is the white chunks, the pineapple is the yellow chunks. Let's dive in. I thought there'd be a, like a better combination of the pineapple and coconut. The Jolly Bee's dessert pie costs more than twice as much and doesn't even taste half as good as the McDonald's deep fried apple pie. Remember I told you? that we're not here for the chicken sandwich. We're here to only try out Hawaii exclusive items. I lied because I have to get a chicken sandwich. I am obligated towards my taste buds.
Jolly Bee asks you to dance along with him. You bend your knees, you shake your bottom, and you turn and face. Yeah. Almost as good as Jolly Bee. So. How do you do it? <laughs> No, I suck. I'm not a dancer. I'm just a person who just talks a whole lot and eats food. And I want to show you guys. And I love all this mayo and mustard here on top of it too. I gotta dive in right now. Please tell me another fast food restaurant chain that has a better chicken sandwich and why. Because I don't know any. And in the meantime, I'm gonna keep this as king. And this is the reason why you come here to Jolly Bee. Now, off to the next place. We are here at the Starbucks in Hawaii, and the one thing that's exclusive in Hawaii is the Thai walls. Without the Thai walls, and one with the Thai walls. That is delicious, just like how I remember that sugary, caramel-like taste. The whipped cream is thick. I want to now compare it to the one with the Thai walls. Oh yeah, it's more of a sugar kick with that sweet condensed milk. Right here at the 7-Eleven in Kanyohe, as 7-Eleven by far has the most exclusive Hawaii items of all the major food chains. It's a lot of food we got, so we can't wait to share it with you guys. <laughs> okay, let's go in. Let's check out some of the Hawaii food items over here. We gotta get some char siu manapua. And of course, how can we forget the Spam Musubi? The best bang for your buck Spam Musubi is in the state of Hawaii. I get a teriyaki Spam Musubi and the regular Musubi. Oh, this is what I get quite often. This is the breakfast scrabble. This is really good for your quick breakfast fix in the morning when you're on the go. What should I get? See, there's a lot more choices and we haven't even made our way to here yet. The local moko bento, that is amazing. The hamburger patty with gravy and egg and rice. And you will find this at every Hawaii restaurant that serves local food. It's already ready to go. You don't have to wait for it to come out. So I'm getting this too. And the mochiko chicken with fried salmon bento. Wow. They have fried rice and salmon is very popular in Hawaii. Oh wow, that's a lot. Are you ready? It's a good selection of hot foods. With all kinds of musubis, it's the iconic local style snack. I'm gonna have to show you the Onolicious Eats. Introducing the refrigerated foods with much Hawaii exclusive items. The Haupia Coconut Pudding. That's what I'm talking about. It's a coconut dessert like pudding and you love it. I don't know anyone who doesn't like Haupia. The Spicy Shrimp Katsu. Ooh. And the Kulu of brand pork. Wow, that is pretty amazing. Hey, I didn't know you guys drove like that, 7-Eleven. And we have the pork lao lao and Kulu of brand pork combo, where they serve two of them together. If you want some good pork and Hawaiian food, I suggest Highway Inn, Waiholi Poi Factory, and Young's Fish Market. Oh, and they have the spicy ahi in the Ari pack. I have so much items I'm gonna get. I mean, I can't get the whole entire store, but there are many items I'm gonna get and share with you guys. And I will share with you guys the kololo, which is the most famous Hawaiian treat. It's made out of taro and it's a dessert. I wanted to show you that they have the deluxe breakfast bento combo with sausage, spam, eggs, rice. Just like the McDonald's one, which makes it the local deluxe that makes it exclusively Hawaii. But that McDonald's one was way more fresh. Not bad. Not bad. A whole lot more than I expected. In the spirit of entertaining everyone, I will get the ube. And I think that's awesome. 
they made their way to the 7-Eleven store. And I spoke to the owner and he wants to make his way to every store here in Hawaii and more. Spicy ahi dynamite roll. That looks pretty good. Now we have the spicy ahi dynamite sushi roll. And that is a lot of ahi with a lot of spices inside. How can I not get pineapple? Pineapple and the word Hawaii go hand in hand. And I'm gonna get some pineapple and they have lihi moi powder that I could add to this pineapple. So I'm gonna show you guys that too. I'm gonna try a lot of 7 Eleven items and doing it just for you guys. I'm telling you right now, when you come to Hawaii, you have to try 7 Eleven because they have so much exclusive food items here. I mean, they have the snacks, the plate lunches, the Slurpees, and desserts. And the kind donuts made in Hawaii with Aloha. And speaking of Slurpees, we're gonna try out the Halpia Slurpee and see how that is. Made with natural cane sugar. Whew. Bam. It doesn't look like much. It looks like snow, but it is very heavy in taste. It has a Halpia coconut flavor and it's really good for sunny days like this. Now we're rocking and rolling. Peanut butter mochi. Cool. Bam. Looks like ube, but it doesn't taste like ube, and I'm excited to eat this. These are all the American snacks over here but they do have a lot of local style like snacks. I mean, ooh, the lihing mix, the sweet lihing moi, more local Hawaii candy right here. We have a video where we shared a lot of Hawaii candy to the Maasai tribe in Africa. Before we hand out Hawaiian treats to the Maasai tribe, let's jump back in the time machine in Walmart, Hawaii, where I got it from. Let's go. And I would suggest you guys watch that video too because that video didn't get a lot of love and I don't know why. It's a cool video and check that one out too. We got BTS too over here. BTS is a famous Korean boy band. If you're a fan of BTS, you'll know that they visited the Hono shrimp truck. They serve amazing garlic shrimp Korean style. It's a lot of food we got, so we can't wait to share it with you guys. <laughs> Hello, yes, maybe have the char siu mana pool, please? Yes, and um, all these items, please, with a couple bags. Yeah, it all adds up, right? The grand total is 60.30. Thank you, awesome. Thanks, brother, we appreciate it. Awesome, yeah, let's eat, let's eat this. Okay, enjoy. Thank you, bye-bye. heavy with all this food. Well, it's not that heavy, but it is a lot of food. I was kind of over exaggerating. I can't wait to try out all these foods and let's go to the park nearby. So we took a five to 10 minute drive to Kolo Beach Park and we're gonna enjoy the 7-Eleven food right near Chinaman's Hat. This is Mokoli'i, also known as Chinaman's Hat. You can actually kayak to the island, then hike to the top for epic views. Bam! Look at all this food. I started with the Halpia Slurpee since it was melting. It's slushy, it's icy, and it's definitely great for days where you're dehydrated and you want that sugar rush. And you get a little bit of that Halpia Coconut Hawaiian treat. Now we're gonna try the fun stuff, and that is the Matapua. It's basically a soft bun on the outside, and on the inside, there is char siu, which is red barbecue pork. And it is ono delicious. Now let's eat up. It is savory char siu baked manapool from 7 Eleven. I'm gonna enjoy this with the Grand Canyon in the background. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Now we have the spicy ahi dynamite sushi roll and that is a lot of ahi with a lot of spices inside 
is a very good treat for $2.69. When they call it dynamite, I can kind of see why, because this does pack a very explosive punch. And now we got the breakfast scrabble. And they have everything you need for breakfast here. Let's dive in. Eggs, sausage, potatoes, rice, and green onions. It's simple, it does the job, and I highly recommend you to get this when you're on the go in the mornings. I've never tried a local moko at 7-Eleven. I'll tell you that right now. So I'm gonna mix it together with the eggs, hamburger patty, rice and gravy, and show you guys what a local moko is supposed to taste like. The gravy was thick and creamy, it tasted good. The rice and egg was pretty good, but the hamburger patty was quite squishy. That local moko didn't make me happy, but sweets always make me happy. Now let's try some coconut pudding and taro dessert. Wow, the taro makes it mushy. It tastes the coconut, but it's light. It's delightful. It's not too sugary like how the Slurpee is. This one is exciting. The spicy ahi and ari pack for only $4.89. That is a lot of spicy ahi. Oh, look at this. Absolute winner. So I like the fact that the wrap on the outside makes it sweeter and there's just way more food in here. The best item I tried so far. And that's a lot of bang for your buck right here. And they have the fried salmon pack right here. And it looks pretty good. I mean, they got quite a bit of fish cake, eggs, carrots, Portuguese sausage too. Are you ready? There's not a lot of taste here. It's a little soggy. I could have used some of that soy sauce from the McDonald's that I had earlier. Now we're gonna try this peanut butter mochi. It looks soft, there's a lot of flour on the outside and I wanna bite into this right now. That was delicious. The mochi is soft, it's squishy. The peanut butter inside melts right in your mouth. And that was really good. And 7-Eleven is all about convenience, and it says it right here, convenience at your fingertips. Pineapple and the word Hawaii go hand in hand. And I'm gonna get some pineapple, and they have Lihi Moi powder that I could add. My mistake, this is apple. <laughs> I was thinking, wait a minute, this can't be pineapple. This is an apple with the Lihi Moi powder on top. It's actually pretty good. Time for a Hawaiian treat, Kololo. Kololo is a coconut flavored taro dessert. I prefer it to be microwave, but I can eat it in its pure form. And if you guys haven't tried the Sweet Lady of Waihole at the Waihole Poi Factory, where they melt the Kololo with the ice cream, that's a winner. Sweet Lady of Waihole. Let's eat. This is not so fresh, it's almost like it's in its block form. If you want to try some good Kololo, I suggest the Kololo at Highway Inn or the Kololo and ice cream at the Waihole Poi Factory. I will get the Ube. Ube is on the rise and these cookies are on the rise. A lot of sugar coating on the outside and we're gonna dive in. That is so good. It is nice and thick purple yam filling on the inside and this is something I would recommend. And I think that's awesome. They made their way to the 7-Eleven store and I spoke to the owner and he wants to make his way to every store here in Hawaii and more. And if eating this cookie is wrong then I don't want to be right. Yeah. Now off to the last food item, the Spam Musubi. Bam, bam. And the Spam has been adopted by the locals since the mid 19th century. And we're gonna dive in. Actually, I already reviewed this in another video. Let me take you there. Now, the Spam Musubi is wrapped with rice. Sometimes it has futakake inside. And this one is the basic one with a little bit of shoyu. Now, I picked 7-Eleven because in my opinion, the 7-Eleven Spam Musubi is convenient. It's quality. it's quality. The best bang for your buck, Spam Musubi, 
is in the state of Hawaii. Okay, you're not gonna get a better value for the price than the spam musubis here at 7-Eleven. Just remember when you go to 7-Eleven, it is a convenience store. You are there to go in and out and it's not gonna be the best tasting fresh food there is. I would recommend a lot of the 7-Eleven products. It's a must try when you come to Hawaii and let me know what you think about it. Okay guys, it's just started to rain, but that's Hawaii for you. Sunny one second, rainy the next. So I wanna make this quick. Mahalo for watching this video. If there's any other Hawaii items I missed, let me know in the comment section down below. But it might take me a while to respond because I'll be in India soon. Sound coming from. Anyhow, like and subscribe to this channel, share this video, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Aloha. Oh, and that's how you know you're in Hawaii too because all these roosters are here. Oh, what are they oh,